Welcome, I am Bob from LSC Digital and today we're going to go over how to import and then update a database. So first thing we're going to do from our home screen is come over the ribbon. We're going to go to data, manage data. All right, and we have already created a source, but we're going to go up here and choose import, import new. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to name our database. So we're gonna call it LSC video, and then today's date, which the date of the video is 5-29-2019. Now here we're gonna, by default, it's saved in our shared location, but we're going to change that. So we're going to choose our LSC video folder. You can either select the radio button or click on the folder name itself and then choose select. So here is what where we can change the type of database we want to create. Contact source, relational tables, test list, seed list, or a suppression list. For this purpose, we're going to use a contact source. Right here is where we could choose whether or not to have a flexible or a restricted database. We're going to choose a restricted database, which requires us to select a unique identifier. That unique identifier will be our email in this case. And here we can choose whether to select a file from the stored files in the system or to upload a new one from our local computer. So we're going to choose browse. And here on our desktop, we're going to select video materials and the database.csv file. If your files don't show up, make sure you have all files selected down below. Otherwise they will be missing just like this. So we choose all files, database, open. And down here, make sure that your file type matches the file type of your file, either a CSV, a TSV, or a PSV are the only allowed file types. So we're gonna click next. All right, in our file, in this case, our first row does contain field names. Uh, by default, the system will take any date field, like our birthday field over here, as month, day, year, but if that needs to change, you just have to select down here. In that case, we're going to click Next. All right, and here, these are all of our fields from our file. These are exactly how they will show up in our new database. Uh, all of the field names are here. You can edit them if you need to. The email, which was our unique identifier, will be a dropdown. And then over here, the email again is a system file. Our first name is a text field. Our last name is a text field, but our birthday is actually a date field. So we could select date field. This is also where you would be able to choose any of these other file types. And then we're gonna scroll and click next. So here's an overview of all of our fields again, one more time. All of these system fields were created. So whenever you go to send a mailing or report on a mailing, you can start using any of these fields here. In this case, everything looks great, so we're just gonna click Next. All right, now on this screen, if you select this box and enter your email address, when you click Submit and the job completes, the system will send you an email to this address to alert you that it's been done. Uh, this is helpful for very large databases that may take some time to process. So we're gonna click Submit. This is the screen that will show you that you have successfully submitted your data job. If you click your data job ID right here, it will take you to it. You can also navigate there by hovering over data, manage, and data jobs. In this case, we're just going to click on our data job. And here you will see that our status is in progress and it gives you all of the most up-to-date information on the progress of the job. So you'll see the uh, name of our database, where it is saved, the source file that was created, the unique identifier, how many rows the system found in your file, how many rows of that file were valid. In this case, contacts added is blank because we're still in progress. Invalid rows shows zero, disallowed rows shows zero, duplicate rows currently is also blank because it is not complete yet, and bad data shows us 67 rows. In that case, down here, this will tell you what the bad data was. And if you need to, you could download a file explaining more details.
So we'll click refresh and see if we've completed. Okay, now that our import is complete, you will notice that more information is filled in over here. Uh, the database name is now a link. You will see our contacts added here and you will see that we had 114 duplicate rows. The duplicate rows are based off of, in this case, our unique identifier, which was the email. So now you have successfully imported a new database. Now we're going to go over how to update the same database. So from wherever you are, go over to the ribbon, data, manage, data. We're going to click into our folder where our database is located, and we're going to select the checkbox next to it. Select import and update existing. Now the screen is a little different from the create a database system. In this case, the default selected checkbox here, add new contacts and update existing fields is the one that we will be using. However, you could select to just add new contacts, just update the fields, or you can add opt outs in this manner. So we're still using a contact source but we're going to create a contact list. So we're going to select new contact list and we are going to choose a name for our contact list. We're going to again select a location, save, and we're going to choose the LSC video contact list folder and choose select. And then okay. All right, now we're going to find our file again from our local computer. We'll click Browse. In this case, we're going to navigate and choose our update file. We're, again, making sure all files are selected as only the CSV, TSV, or PSV files are allowed. Click Open. Double check to make sure you're using the correct file type. And click Next. All right, and just as in when we created the database, the screen is exactly the same. We make sure that our first row contains field name box is checked and that our date format is still the month, day, year. And we're going to choose next. Now in this screen, you will notice that these field types are blank. This is because that our file had different field names for these two particular fields. So in this case, we can come right over here to fields, select the drop down menu, we're going to choose email address is belongs to email and F name belongs to first name. If you happen to have a lot of field names and they are different, it might make more sense to go in and edit the field names inside your file before you update to match your existing database. So we'll click next. And again, this is the same here where we would be able to, to kind of review everything, make sure everything's all set. And we're going to click next. And just like before, we could choose to send ourselves an email when it's completed, but in this case we won't, and we'll just click Submit. All right, and we'll select our data job. And just like before, this screen is very much similar to the other one. You'll notice all of the same fields over here as well as over here. So we're going to click Refresh. All right, now our update is complete again. The link here is to our database, it shows you where it's saved, the file name that was used to update, but our unique identifier is still the email. This time we have an, a contact list. Again, our parsed rows, our valid rows, contacts added, contacts updated. And we'll see that we had no invalid, no disallowed, duplicate, or bad data. And that is how you successfully import and then update your database. Who is LSC Digital? Everything we do is backed up by our quality data, meticulously collected and updated frequently by our team of experts. When you partner with LSC, you have your own team of experts who will work with you to plan and execute all of the steps of an effective program, from strategy and audience selection to content development and promotion. Our team delivers campaigns that appeal and connect with your target customers. This is the intersection of data and strategy that brings results.